Hi, what's up people? Mr. Highway here. Today I'm going to share with you about cycling. Cycling has always been a big part of me since my secondary school days. But I cycle from home to school every day. Okay? And not just me, but a whole bunch of friends in class have one bicycle each. And you can imagine, after school, we have a lot of choices on where to go hang out. So nearby, we have Katong Shopping Center, Parkway Parade and East Coast. And if you go further down, we can get to Leisure Park and National Stadium. There was once we even cycled across the East Coast Parkway, the Shears Bridge, all the way to Marina South Park, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So we will always be going places and enjoying ourselves. So today I'm going to share with you my bike collection. First we have this beauty, the Decathlon between Riverside 500, which I got from Carousel. It's not a first-hand bike, it's a used bike. I got it for about $250 when the original price would have cost me 500 so it's a good deal. There was a little bit of drama when I bought this bike. The seller was selling it from Amokyo, that's where he lives. I took a train down, tested the bike, it was good, paid the money, and I was going to cycle it back home from Amokyo, which is about an hour's journey. So when I was at Bishan, there was this little bump on the road, it's not little actually, it's quite big, and I wasn't quite paying attention, I, I kind of did see it, and I drifted my bike to the left, my bike hit on this bump, it went over and I flew off this way, landed on my palms. Thank God there wasn't any traffic behind. Otherwise today I might not be making YouTube videos. Yeah, it's quite painful and um, I just yeah, I couldn't move for quite a while. Uh, but I still did manage to cycle home all the way even after that without accidents. Until today, it's about 3 months already, uh, I'm still recovering. Uh, I'm almost pretty much okay already, just that uh, if I press, it's still a little bit painful. Yeah, I'm gonna see a physiotherapist later. Next up, we have this little bike here, which I got for my other son 10 years ago. It's a 16 inch BMX. And when I bought it, it used to come with training wheels over here. Uh, I've since removed it because uh, the last one who used it was my youngest daughter. She started with the training wheels but in time she became better and I uh, removed the training wheels so that she can cycle to school herself. Yeah, she does. So at some point she also outgrew this bike and so we upgraded her to the next one. This bike over here which is also bought from Carousel. It's $90. I got it. I think it's a good deal so. So that's the thing about bikes, you know, they are very durable things. Used bikes may look old and you know, not nice and shiny, but um, it's fully usable. Okay, it doesn't feel any different from uh, entirely new bikes. Okay, of course, sometimes you need some adjustments and bike maintenance, but they are largely okay. So it's always a good deal to buy used bikes. My youngest daughter can use this because her other sister second daughter, upgraded from this to the next one. So my second daughter upgraded to this bike which I originally bought for my brother and also $90 okay and the buying was easy, it's not like Bishan but it's just two bus stops away. You just have to take a bus, go there, pick up the bike and ride it back. This bike is a specialized bike, good brand and so $90 is still. Um, it's got this design right, which actually all the others also. Um, bikes used to be like going this way. It means that you have to be very tall to use it. Okay, but then now it depends this way downwards and the frame, this part is much lower. You can shift the seat lower, which means that even children who are shorter will be able to ride this bike. Even though the wheels are pretty big as well. And so my son outgrew this bike and he got to take over the bike that I've been using for a long time, which is this one coming up next. So we have this Haro from 27 years ago. That's how long I've owned it. Okay, my dad bought for me back then. And uh, since then, it's been used uh, a lot to actually transport my children. When they were smaller, we have this car seat over here. They used to go to the kindergarten not too far away. So, uh, well, they have outgrown it, but uh, I'm still keeping it here because I found it really handy to transport uh, food in a water supply kitchen center. It's comfortable there by large containers, so I can put it here. And today, uh, when I go buy dinner or lunch for my family, I go with a 
Grab food right there. I'll be riding this as well. We got this balancing bike um, maybe a year-ish ago uh, from a relative because uh, my youngest daughter back then still hasn't uh, learned how to ride a bike. So this balancing bike is good for little children and you can just run around and then you can uh, you just glide around. It's so fun. This is not a bike but a skate scooter. I use it regularly for work. Uh, from the MRT station to my workplace, it's about 15 minutes walk, so I really appreciate a bit of the help here. That really saves me about 10 minutes each time. In the morning when you're trying to rush to school, it's really really handy. People always ask me, do I scoot all the way to school? Of course not. The other thing that people often ask me is why don't I change to an electric scooter? Um, well, I got this way back before electric scooters were popular. It, it's, it's working, you know, so I have no reason to change it. Uh, upgrade, well, they are not cheap, that's number one, and before I could finally make a decision to buy it, uh, they have all this ruling about electrical scooter, uh, not allowed here, not allowed there. I think it's okay, I'll just stick to my leg powered scooter. So that's all I have for my bike collection. Thanks for watching this video. It's a bit of uh, sharing about myself, even as you learn about math from me, which is what this channel really is about. So do check out the videos that I'm going to post uh, weekly on mathematics. And uh, if you have any suggestions for any topics that you would like to learn, please put it in the comments below. Like and subscribe. See you next time.